and welcome back to Captured by Yada. Today I am bringing you a tutorial on how I achieve this blown out look. So fluffy, so soft. If you want to learn more, please stay tuned. Alright y'all, let me start off first by saying this. If you're still drying your hair with a towel, it's time to level up in 2017. Alright, for starters, I sprayed my hair with a little water because my hair dries so fast in between the shower and when it's time for me to start my hair. So I'm adding the Main Choice Hair Growth Oil to my scalp to keep those roots moisturized and the Ancient Egyptian Anti-Breakage Repair Antidote Oil. All this product smells amazing. You have to try it soon. It's specifically formulated for the shaft of our hair it strands and also you can use it as a hot oil treatment. As you can see I separate my hair to work in about six to eight sections. I use my wide tooth comb to further detangle any kinks left over from my shower finger detangle. And then I spritz my hair with the Silk Elements Strengthening Silk Coconut Heat Protected Spray. Alright, so now here's the fun part. Grabbing my Revlon blow dryer, I attach the concentration nozzle. I use the tension method to safely stretch my hair by simply grabbing the ends of each section and creating literally a little tension to stretch my hair strands out. Then I evenly distribute the air up and down each section. Now you want to be careful on this part. You, you don't want to have the blow dryer too close to your hair, which will end up causing, of course, heat damage. Now I keep my blow dryer on the settings warm or cool. Luckily, instead of uh, just having the cool shot button, my, blow, my Revlon blow dryer actually has a cool setting and it'll keep it cool so you won't have to hold your finger down on a pesky button the whole time. Now once I realize that my hair is at a good length and I'm satisfied with the stretch, I go back with a either a wide tooth comb or a paddle brush to follow my, bro my blow dryer, giving me that sleek look that I want to achieve. Once I'm done with each section, I twist my hair into a two strand twist and pin that hair back so it's out the way and I can move on. Alright y'all, I'm on my last section. This process usually takes me about roughly 20 minutes per half of my head. So it, it never takes me more than an hour, 40 minutes to an hour to complete. y'all please don't talk about my broken paddle brush I know we've all been there as a natural you aren't officially a natural until you either break a comb or break a brush now since I know in the morning I'm not gonna have enough time to show you guys the final product so I'm gonna go ahead and take out my twist luckily my hair sets pretty fast and you can kind of see what I'm going with As you can see, it's not super straight at the roots, but it's nice and textured, giving me that full look. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 